be surrounded by good old friends and back into the world of solo around the world yacht racing and we have a quorum we have three of us back in Bermuda one place <laughs> Alan Paris you don't need introduction and Sir Robert Knox Johnson our long-term hero friend and, and, Neil. and Neil and myself Neil but, but Robin today's a special day why so special what's he so special about today 54 years ago about now a certain friend 54 years. Today. Do you, do you, today. Do you, do you realize I was one years of age? I was one when you did that? <laughs> you're older than most of the people I've got around me. <laughs> but, but Robin, you've made such incredible history of uh, being the first person to race solo around the world. And the, 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 the history, the legends, if you sum it up in 10 seconds, what would that summation be? Oh, I think the world is designed to race around. Well. Therefore, we just decided how we're going to do it. When I came along, there was only one thing left to do. Do it not stop. Do it not stop. Have you been done? Okay, we must do something first. So, so Robert, you've been such an inspiration to so many people, including myself. But I'm going to go to you, Alan. Yes. Because okay, you and I met because of the Muro 1 2, the race that went from Newport, Rhode Island to here. You were my nemesis racing, it was my at the end of my first attempt to race solo around the world. And then you went on to, to do this as well. What drove you? I think a passion uh, to try something different that was outside my comfort zone. Uh, you know, there's a thing called the beginner's mind, and I learned more about it during the Around Alone race. And it says, in the expert's mind, the choices are few. In the beginner's mind, the choices are many, because you actually don't know what you're doing. So you are learning, whereas an expert supposedly knows how to do it. I found the process of figuring things out, which is the world of solo sailing, on your own, and calling a few friends as we had the option. That's <coughs> the did not have the option of calling a few friends. Um, it was a lifetime growth goal. So, so Robin, you've, you've, you've seen the sport evolve. I mean, you sailed Swahili, uh, and took, I can't remember how many days, 313. 312 days from this point forward. But then you also got the chance to race uh, with the, to, to sail with the, the, the British America's Cup team. And I remember a comment you were making of how vastly different the sport had evolved. And here you were in bulletproof armor. Just about. Just yeah. about. So, where, where are we going to go from here? Well, uh, north and other people seem to be going for foils. And I couldn't believe that we were naught to about 42 knots in about seven seconds. Wow. She just got up and went. It was unbelievable. And I very unwisely put my head up. It was like Mike Tyson fucking in the face <laughs> and the wave hit the world. And um, you know, say, so, oh, well, I'll keep my head down after this. But, um, you know, we've got foils now for around the world racing yep, on the Indy Club. Yep. And it's, I think we're going to see more and more of that. It's a, but it's and good. more speed records to fall. And Always. But, you know, we've got to remember, too, that it's all more expensive. Yes. And really, the strength of saving isn't at that upper end of the expensive end. Yeah, yeah. It's elsewhere. So a foiling clip around the world, race? No. <laughs> no way. No way. Right. Someone said, you're going to put water tanks, ballast tanks on water. I said, no. No. Why not? Yeah, I could just see what would happen. No. no. So, so Robin, um, a last comment. What do you think of where we are as humanity and as people? You are our first generation of the modern world of sailing. And Alan, you kind of fall into the middle and there's a whole nother generation after you and I. But I'd really would like to understand from you, where do you, where do you think as a humanity, what is left for? What is our new frontier? Where are we going to, to go? How do we make this world better? Well, I think the first thing is, sorry Alan, um, is that of course, in many ways, uh, the frontiers collapsed a bit. You know, we have communications now. We don't have satellites around the world. We have satellite navigation. You don't have to be on your own. And I think a lot of the people doing it now would actually struggle if they couldn't have contact. Yep. They're not what they call natural sim Yep, yep. Uh, for example, what uh, Don McIntyre is doing with these race. Yeah. Uh, those are the, the last of that's, your breed, our breed. Well, that's why I support it. Yep. Because I think it is amazing encouraging people to go back to the basics. Because uh, otherwise, it's a question of budget. Yeah. And, you know, who's got the biggest boat, the most expensive foils, the best equipment on board? You don't have to even go on deck. 
Yeah. Well, this, We've seen that recently, haven't this, we? Boat design. Yeah. And this is the sort of sailing I grew up with. It's not what I want to do. Alan, do you think there's another race in you? No, I'm not yeah. sure. I think if you've been lucky enough, and I use the word luck as in you haven't had too much bad luck, uh, to have successfully done the goal that you wanted the first time, maybe not. So we are now the three old men, the three wise men who have done this and we want to challenge sure others uh, to, to dream big and never to give up and to Sorry. really pursue those Sorry. dreams and those you don't goals. Have unanimity here. Yeah. We've decided we're not wise. Okay, then <laughs> we were the ones that were not so wise, but we did it. <laughs> Till the next. That's right. Well, I'll pop in here next April. Good. See Good. what you're all up to. Good. I'm going to sail to Colorado. Right? Okay. Uh, cruise around with family and then...